Hey guys, welcome back to your YouTube channel where we learn something new every day. So do you know uh, you can use worksheet functions in uh, a VBA language also? So, you know, functions like min, maximum, VLOOKUP, and there are many more. What are you knowing that you can use them in VBA language directly? If not, uh, let's check out this video where we are going to learn how to use it. Coming up. Now, before we move on to our today's topic, if you are new to this channel and want to keep learning and become an expert in VBA, we share a new video every day, a new trick about VBA. So consider subscribing. Coming back to our topic, uh, some of the worksheet functions that I'm going to show you in this video, how you can use them in VBA are minimum, maximum, and VLOOKUP, uh, having minimum or maximum price. So this is the table that we are going to use. Uh, like there are some prices and quantity of the items like A, B, C, D, E right so uh what we are going to do is i have already assigned a range to this uh so i'll just uh, do that i think i missed it so you can just select them and select price range two for example but yeah you can give any name here so i have given price name of price range two right and the way we want a uh, max function and minimum function is like we want to get the maximum and minimum prices of the quantity or of the items right so coming back to vba editor uh, you can press alt and f11 to open the window and click on insert and module to insert a new module right um, i'll just close this uh, project explorer and properties window since we don't need them right i'll just uh, zoom in on the code right so coming back to the code as you can see i've already given a name using worksheet functions but you can give any name right range 4 is where i want the minimum value so that's why i have written range b4 dot value and in b cell b5 i want the maximum value that's why you see the next line range b5 dot value okay after that you have to write is equal to then application dot worksheet function dot min for minimum and max for maximum and the range as you can see i have written price range but i'll just uh, change that to two because i gave the name two as a price range right so just change this so any code that you want to use like I'll also come to we look up here but yeah for any code that you want to use I mean any formula that you want to use it's uh, syntax is going to remain same of worksheet functions right but you just have to add application dot worksheet function before that right and after dot you can start your code so for example if I come back to Excel so the way we find minimum value is we write is equal to min and then select the range right so that is the only thing i have done here so minimum price range 2 right so that's what i have done in the macro also i have given min and then i have defined where, what is the range similarly for max so there are a lot of functions if i just click on this link uh, it will take you to the microsoft website i'm going to share this link where we have the full list of the uh, formulas which are accepted in VBA language, right? So there's a long list as you can see on my screen. So I'm going to share this list in the description for your knowledge. Coming back to this, uh, I've already told you how the code is running. I'll just press F8 to run minimum and maximum code. So you can see we got the minimum value as 10 and maximum value as 50, right? And there is no formula so how this is going to be useful is where you already have a lot of formulas in your workbook and you don't want to make it more heavy by adding some more formulas so you can use this directly in VBA 
another thing which we are going to look at the another example is like we look up so as I've written for a minimum price but we'll see both how we can do so again in b6 I want and that's the reason I have b6 here right after that it's going to be same I'll just uh, set this right after that it's going to be same you have to start in the similar way application dot worksheet function dot now we look up right because we want we look up formula and as you know the syntax of we look up so here in the first case since I want the minimum value uh, minimum item name to be picked up from we look up so I'm selecting cell b4 right after that you have to define the range so my range is b8 to d13 uh, from where I want to do the we look up but it can be anything on your end so change accordingly after that I want the value from third column because the item names are in third column so if I just go back you can see the item names are in third column so that's why I need it from the third column and also the range I think I have added few rows so the range is starting from row 11 till row 15 okay so I'll just make that change here also row 11 to row 15 okay similarly for maximum value you would noticed or I'll just uh, zoom in here so you can see so the only difference in these two lines is the cell number from where I am picking the value the reason is as you can see I want minimum value in the first case and in the second case I want the maximum value apart from that both these lines are completely same right we'll again uh, come back uh, to this Excel and see how the code is popping up the value right so item A has the lowest uh, price and if I press F8 again item E has the highest price okay, and if you want to verify we can do that item A has the lowest price and item E has the highest price right okay so similarly as I say there are there is a long list of functions which are acceptable in this VBA language and this is the complete list on the Microsoft website which I'm going to share with all of you that's it for today uh, that also brings us to the question like which of these items or which of these functions you are going to use or when in what kind of cases you are going to use let me know in comments thanks for checking out this video subscribe and hit the bell icon if you haven't done that yet keep learning keep growing we'll speak to you soon goodbye